What's up YouTube, it's William Jones and welcome to the channel Golf Speed. This channel is all about generating speed and getting that to actually translate into sports, specifically for me in the club head speed to hit longer drives. So this video is gonna be a really simple med ball workout. I really believe in med balls. You can go check out the other videos of why I feel like they're so powerful, but here's my main three med balls, six, 12, and 20. Today, this is gonna be all over the six pound med ball. Now, granted, before you can see I'm sweaty, I've already done warm-ups and ran a mile, so my body's pretty loose. If you're gonna do these at home, make sure that you're pretty, uh, you know, you're stretched out, you're loose, you're not gonna get injured. That's the number one thing that you don't wanna have happen is to get injured. Now, all these, that I, all these exercises that I do, I do them progressively. I don't start off at number one as hard as I can do. My last few are generally harder than I can do. Now, this exercise is gonna be three sets today, and I'm gonna break it down into a few different exercises that you can use that will really translate into creating speed. So if you watch any of these videos, what I always like to try and do is do it with a timer. Now, for a few reasons. One, mentally it's easier for me, and the second is it keeps my heart rate up. So going through these, keep in mind that I'll do these back to back to back to back. I'm not switching the camera and going through this. This is really just like a workout. So I wanna get my heart rate up, I wanna exercise muscles, and I wanna have some amount of technique for them. So this first one, instead of doing the sledgehammers, the sledgehammer slams, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this with the med ball. Now this is a six pound med ball. Normally I will do this with like a 12 pound ball, but I'm gonna start just square stance like this, just like I would like a driver stance, shoulder width apart. And I'm going to move my, these are all core exercises, so I'm gonna move my core, swing it, come back, and slam. And then from here, once I pick it back up, I'm moving my body, I'm really not engaging my arms, and I'm coming back and slamming. One of the most important things in this is that when I come back to the slam, see my hips are out, I'm dropping my hips back. And this is really the motion where I get this energy from. And if you do this for a minute at a time as fast as you can, you've really got to be able to do that. So I'll just do a few here. So one. And this is really good. What this is gonna do, it's loosening up the spine. It's getting me to change momentum. And getting my heart rate up. That's a good one to start with. All right, so I always like to do this with a timer. So granted, I would do that exercise for one minute, and then I would move over here to the wall. I do a lot of different variations of the slam wall, but for this one, what I wanna do is take my golf posture right here, and then I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna throw it. Now this one's not just over uh, how fast I can throw it into the wall, it's how repeatedly, quickly, how fast I can repeatedly throw it. So here we go, just do a few. So you can see when I'm doing that, this right arm is almost stationary against my body because what's happening is when it hits, it has to be braced enough for me to catch it. So it's a really good exercise for a pivot. And then of course I'll do the opposite side. So as I'm progressing through these drills, number one, none of these so far have been about as fast as I can do them. If anything, they're loosening me up for what's about to come next. But even for this, injury prevention, being able to have these movements and just have them slowly translate into your game is the biggest thing. So for this one, even for a minute, I would still be running on a timer here. I'm gonna do granny tosses at the bullseye. And what this is really doing, whether you realize it or not, is stretching my hips and getting my back to a point to where it's really throwing that ball. All right, for this fourth exercise, what I'm gonna do here is you can see I've got a golf shaft laid down in front of this, in between here and the wall. And so I've got my six pound ball, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start like a crow hop, like you would in baseball, footwork, and then I'm gonna throw this, and that shaft is really there to make sure that I can't cheat and I can't get closer to that wall. Because with this six pound ball, uh, and this is a day one fitness I got off Amazon. With this six pound ball, 
I got to throw it hard enough to hit the wall and then bounce back to where I can catch it again. And so that's really kind of how I just regulate how fast I can throw it and how consistently I'm going to have to throw it. So I'm just going to do a few on each side here. But the movement on this is going to be, let me scoot up some more so just so you can see it. The movement on this is I'm starting here. My right foot's going forward. My left foot start going over. My right foot goes behind. I throw and then wham. That's just how I move. Now, I don't know if that's how everybody does or what else, but that's just what I do. So here we go. Bam. You can see how that ball's got to bounce over the shaft. About threw the mic off. And then opposite side, get back some more. So I just laid out four exercises that are really easy to do that you can do. I normally will do this in three sets with the timer to get going faster. Now, this is so important because starting off with just the side, side throws, you're really learning how to work your pelvis and to get in that drop and that momentum. Next, when you're coming through here and you're doing these you know, quick side throws like that, and your body's also learning how to decelerate and accelerate quickly because really this is what allows you to get that speed and power into a golf swing again like i always said if you look at somebody who's one dimensional or like a one sport athlete specifically like a bodybuilder they're very one dimensional in their movements so this is a really easy way to teach your body under stress how to get this center torso manipulation onto there. Then also, I mean, you're talking about your granny throws, your long throws, you're extending your body, you're stretching your hips, and you're, it's just a good exercise to stretch out with, leading into the crow hops. The crow hops are so important too, specifically when it goes to translating speed, is because your body is having to learn how to manipulate that weight, how to work with that weight manipulating it. And what I mean by that is like when you're coming through on this crow hop and you're doing the footwork going through your back, that's your entire backswing. You're making that longer to where it's a longer point in time so your body can then learn how to catch that momentum and throw it faster. So again, thanks for tuning in these videos. Get some med balls. I'll do more and more workouts and exercises that are easy for you to do if you don't have a slam wall. This slam wall is a... I'd say it's almost a one inch piece of plywood with a few two by fours put onto the back of it. You can make this on the back of a tree, a brick wall, anything like that. This is so important to me because number one, if you're working out by yourself, it allows you to kind of have that bounce back and work through here a little bit faster. But med balls really teach your body without even having to really learn the technique like you would in golf, how to adjust and make a rotary movement because they're heavier. There's less room for error. It's a simpler movement. We're taking out the club head, you're taking out the shaft, you're taking out all these different things, whether baseball or whatever, and just learning how your body moves under weight. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for liking my videos. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Check out all my other videos and get back in here for some more videos that I use personally to help me prolong my swing speed going into my 30s. So thanks for tuning in.